Good morning, ma'am. Okay, so before we start today, everybody, please stand up so we can start our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, our Father, we praise and adore you for everything in this world, for the of us, for our sins that we have given to us, especially for the blessings of life. Thank you for guiding of us all throughout our life. We pray in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Please take your seat. So before we proceed to our new lesson, let us review first. So what was our topic last meeting, Lenny? Last meeting, our topic is all about angles form two lines cut by a transversal. Very good, Lenny. So now, what are the different angles form when two lines are cut by a transversal? Pauline. The different angles for when two lines are cut by a transversal are interior angle, exterior angle, alternate, interior angle, alternate, exterior angle, and corresponding angle. Very good, Pauline. So next, what do you call an angle form that lie between two lines? So, Rachel? They are called interior angle. Very good, Rachel. Any question about our topic last meeting? No, no, no. So, okay, very good. Then we will proceed to our new topic today. So, our topic for today is all about polygon. Different types of... The polygons are named according to the number of its sides and angles. So, let's talk about the figure. This figure, can we consider this as a, as a polygon? Yes, ma'am. Say so, Lenny. Because it is a closed figure. Very good. So, what shape is shown in the figure? Triangle. Triangle. Very good. Now, let's proceed to different types of polygons. So, what is polygon? So, polygon can be defined as a flat or plain, two-dimensional closed shape bounded with a straight side. So, it is it does not have curved sides. The sides of a polygon are also called its edges. The points where two sides met are the vertices of a polygon. So, this is the types of polygon. So, first is, what is this? Triangle. triangle. Very good. So, triangle has three sides, three vertices, and three angles. The sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. The sum of the length of two sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. This is the three sides of triangle. This is the three vertices. One, two, three. And this is the three interior angles of a triangle. One, two, three. So next is quadrilateral. So a polygon having four sides, four angles, and four vertices. It is formed by joining four non-collinear points. The sum of interior angles of quadrilateral is always equal to 360 degrees. This is the four side of quadrilateral. One, two, three, four. Four angles, angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. And the four vertices, one, two, three, and four. This is, what is this? Pentagon. So, a pentagon is any five-sided polygon or five-gon. The sum of the internal angles in a simple pentagon is 540 degrees. A self-intersecting regular pentagon is called a pentagram. So, this is an example of pentagon. First side, second side, third side, fourth side, and fifth side. Next is hexagon. A hexagon is a six-sided polygon or six-gon. The total of the internal angles of any simple hexagon is 720 degrees. Next is heptagon. So the heptagon is a plane or two-dimensional shape comprised of seven straight sides, seven interior angles, and seven vertices. Next is, what is this? Octagon. octagon. So octagon is a polygon that has eight sides and eight angles. That means the number of vertices and edges of an octagon is 8, respective. So next is nonagon. Nonagon is a polygon that has 9 sides, 9 interior angles, and 9 exterior angles. A nonagon has 27 diagonals, and the sum of the interior angles of a nonagon is 1,260 degrees. 
Next is, and the last polygon is decagon. Known as a 10-sided shape or polygon with 10 vertices and 10 angles. When any shape is formed by adjoining 10 sides, it is called a decagon. So that was the different types of polygons. So now, I will give each of you a band paper and draw the polygon and sketch it one by one. So, complete the tables below. Number of sides, number of angles, and prefix. So, are you done? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Please exchange your paper to your seatmates. Okay, number one. The figure is triangle. Number of sides? Three. Number of angles? Three. Prefix? Five. Very good. Okay, number two? Quadrilateral. Number of sides? Four. Number of angles? Four. Prefix? Four. Very good. Number three? Pentagon. Pentagon. Okay. Number of sides? Five. Number of angles? Five. Prefix? Pentagon. Very good. Or? Hexagon. Number of sides? Six. Number of angles? Six. Prefix? Hexagon. Very good. Perfect? Yes. So, please give me your score. It will serve as your attendance today. Lenny Haliores, score. 15. Very good. Perfect. Pauline Haliores, 15. Very good. Perfect. Rachel Serra, 15. Very good. Perfect. So, for your assignment, and make an art or scenario that represent the different polygons seen in real life situation. So, let's end our class today. Thank you and goodbye students. Goodbye, Bye, Mom. Thank you. Thank you.